Okay, so this video is just a brief demonstration um, of how to delineate a watershed into stream stats and then eventually just get a shape file of that um, to be able to kick over to, I'm using QGIS. Um, this isn't a thorough demonstration of stream stats and there's a lot more capabilities here, but um, after having a lot of issues with Delineating watersheds in QGS um, and it being very picky about how how your DEM is set up and the sources of that um, and just having a lot of errors associated with that. Um, looking into this, I found the stream stats um, and just wanted to do a brief overview of this. So here's stream stats, this USGS website. Um, and so it just quickly allows you to search for a place. Um, we're gonna look for a bridge um, in Oktaha, just north of there. So we can kinda search and zoom. Um, and we'll pan over to where our bridge is. Um, I believe it's right here. Just wanna double check with the aerial imagery. So go to base maps and imagery and then that's that's the bridge location right there. So I want to find the watershed for this location. So I'm gonna set Oklahoma's state or regional study area. And then it pops up with this delineate button. Um, so it's showing you right now basically where it assumes the streams are. Um, so if we click delineate, we we'll want to come down here and basically find the block, stream block, closest to our location. So here's the bridge. So I'm going to click on this blue bubble right here. And so that shows me what my click point is. Um, it's let me know that it's valid down here. And so it's working to delineate the basin. And so we'll just give it a few minutes. Um, it generally works pretty quickly and this one's actually a fairly large um, watershed and it's kind of some of the re reason I've been having a lot of issues within QGIS because it's such a large watershed. Um, and there we go. And all that time it normally takes you in QGIS, here's your watershed. Um, let's see, if we click on it, I'm not sure what. It gives us some information um, regarding it. Um, no, it didn't right there. But the one thing I like here um, that we can do is come up here to download the basin and we can just kick it to a shape file. And um, so what I'm gonna do, stick it in here and just call it stream stats and it comes in a zip folder um, so we'll have to unzip it to be able to use it <clears throat> in QGIS so it's a pretty small file so we'll just let that download for a second um, and hopefully it'll be done I think there we go Here we go, here's the folder. Um, we'll go up one. So here's the stream stats folder. We'll just extract give that just a second. Okay, there we go. Alright, so now I've got QGIS open, um, a blank project down here. And so real quick, so this is where I dropped it to, but a stream stats folder and then under layers, and then it's just this global watershed. So I'm double click on that, I open it up. And then it actually gives you the point too that you clicked. So there's your location point. Um, so we'll just do a quick investigation here. Um, so Streamstats will put it in WGS84, so you can see the coordinate system down here. 
um, so just lat long, which we can convert to be whatever we want it to be. Um, and we'll need to do that just for similarities to other project. Um, but just kind of one quick way to make sure they dumped it in the right area. Um, we can, if it'll pop up, there we go. I like to just make the symbology of these watersheds just have an outline um, so we can see what's inside of it. And then I have the Quick Max Services plugin downloaded, and I like to just go to the Google satellite imagery um, because I know where this is and I know what it looks like. Um, I can just scroll right back in to that point. And if it'll clear up real quick, you can see it's the same location with kind of this jagged roadway um, as before. And so that's how quick we can do the watershed in using stream stats. Now stream stats will do a whole bunch of other things um, and give you flow data and all that different stuff. Um, I still like to calculate my flow data in QGIS just because I can manually draw on the line and um, for the flow path and understand that a little bit, but this is a real quick way to do it. And um, actually, I had created this watershed before um, using a bunch of different. The if you follow the other videos um, on this channel, you'll see how I do it in QGIS. Um, so here's the watershed I delineated before this purple. Um, so it's very similar um, and it kind of depends on what the uh, resolution of the DEM file you're using is, but it's essentially the same thing. Um, so that's good to kind of verify both methods. Um, but again, I had a lot of issues with the DEMs because this is such a large area, this is probably 40 square miles, um, and having to resample the DEM to lower it, <clears throat> but then having issues with filling sinks because of that. Um, so this is good alternate method to at least get your watershed boundary and then you can plug in a lot of other things. Alright, thanks.